Hiya, it's Natasha and thank you so much for joining me today. This is episode one of a couple of episodes, I'm not sure how many is in this mini-series, um, about using twine in our card making. So I'm going to start off using this frame die. Now you don't necessarily have to use a frame, you could create your own um, using a couple of rectangles or whatever, but uh, I happen to have this frame die which I'll link down below. But I glued two of them together out of 110 pound uh, cardstock because I need it to be quite rigid. I need it to be able to hold up to the twine that I'm going to wrap around it. So that's why I'm gluing two together. You could have even thinner, um, a lighter weight of cardstock and adhere together a few layers if need be as well. So I am putting a little bit of double sided tape down either of the long sides of the frame and this is how I'm going to just roughly keep my twine in place. I have found that this is the best way to kind of um, secure it and it does seem to stay put really well. I'm going to use three colours of twine on this one and I'm going to start with the yellow one here. Um, you can see that I come to the end of a piece there but I still want more yellow so I'm just going to unwind some more off the um, packet and then all I have to do is adhere it down to um, some of that little sticky adhesive down the side and keep winding and I found again that that holds it perfectly so makes it nice and easy to start and stop depending on the length of your pieces. The next color I'm moving on to is some orange it kind of looks red a little bit but it's definitely more of an orange color and again, this piece is shorter than what I need, so I actually end up again adding on another piece of orange. And you really can't tell where it starts and stops either, so it is it does work out fine. You want to make sure that you've got the twine tight enough that it doesn't kind of sag in the middle, but you don't want to have it so tight that your frame ends up buckling or bending. If it does buckle a little bit, mine buckled a little bit, but not a lot. Um, that doesn't matter either because I'll be adhering it down um, nice and strong to my card base anyway. So that will all kind of flatten out. And again, the last color is kind of a pinky, um, kind of a fuchsia color. And I need a couple of pieces of string to fill up that frame here at the end too. So that is that part done. And now I'm going to adhere it down onto my 110 pound Nina Solar White card base. And I'm just using the same double sided adhesive. This is the adhesive from Alina Crafts and it is a very strong double sided adhesive. So it's a great one to use for a project that you need to um, yeah, know that it's going to stay put. So once I have done this part, I'm going to move on to some other decorations and I'm going to start by using these flowers here. Now this is actually a couple of different sets of flowers, but I'm going to pop them together and they'll end up looking fine anyway. I had a big pile of scrap white paper there that I die cut all of these out of and I also die cut those little um, foliage leaves as well. So I will link all these dies down below in case you're interested. And I'm actually going to use some Distress Oxide Shaded Lilac and a little finger dauber to go around just the very, very outside of the petals here. I definitely find when I'm making a mainly white flower that this helps it stand out a whole lot more. And I really like uh, the look that this gives the flowers. I've done this before in a few videos and a few cards. Um, yeah, but I really like it, so I keep coming back to it. And I'm doing it to all of the sizes and I roughly have two of the large one, two of the medium and then two of the smaller flower. And then I was going to start on my leaves but before I do that I'm going to let this all dry so I decided to um, glue it together with some liquid adhesive. This is a glue bottle from AliExpress but the glue that is inside of it is the Ranger Multi Medium in the matte finish. And then I just kind of end up playing with the um, petals a little bit to make it look how I want it to and then I'll move on to coloring in the leaves and I just have three of the greens out I think I end up just using twisted citron and mowed lawn and again I'm just using a finger dauber to kind of put some color add some color onto the leaves but I want it to have plenty of variation in the color and yeah definitely not perfect so I quite like the way that they're a bit splotchy um, and that's what I was going for so now I am just going to kind of create the front of what's going to go on top of all that twine. So I have this set here and I'm using one of these, almost one of the larger sizes of this one. And I've die cut it right out of the center of my panel. 
And then I'm going to use, this is some of Alina's foam tape, this is the thicker one. And I'm going to add this around all four edges because I want it to sit squarely over top of the twine um, piece that we put down onto our card base. So I want it to be clear of all of that and kind of sit flush with the actual card base. So I remove the release paper and then it should fit just nicely over top like that. Now, even though I really like the look of this part, I felt like it was slightly too plain. So I'm actually going to take the same size die that I used before and the one larger in the same set. And I'm going to cut it out of some grey cardstock. Now, I think this is Simon Says Stamp, maybe Smoke or Fog. I think it's Smoke uh, coloured cardstock. And this will create a frame that I'll put around it. And I kind of feel like it just finishes off that um, twine piece in the centre nicely. So I'm using a couple of bits of low-tech tape to hold it as it goes through my cuddle bug. And then I am left with a frame. I'll keep all those other little bits for other projects. I always have scrap bits lying around absolutely everywhere. And it was about at this point where I realised <laughs> that I don't have a sentiment on the card yet. So this is kind of like a do as I say, not as I do. I wanted it to say have a blooming good birthday because it's got that flower on there. Um, so I am going to kind of be a bit risky and stamp straight onto my card front. I do know that underneath here there is that solid piece of foam. So I was pretty sure that I was going to get a good outcome there. But <laughs> yeah, as I said, do as I say, not as I do. And stamp your sentiment before you start putting everything together. So now I'm just going to use a little bit of liquid glue behind these two leaves and the flower. And then just before I glue down the flower, I'm going to add um, a little enamel dot in the middle of the flower. Again, just as a little finishing touch. And that is pretty much the card for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below if you would give this a go or if you have any ideas for how you could use twine as in your card making. Once again, I really, really appreciate you guys sticking with me to the end if you've made it this far. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks. Bye.